Next on People to People. Pianos painted and positioned in spaces all over Atlanta. Playing some Alicia Keys and I knocked him off the piano. Organizers believe this musical movement will change our communities. And helping hands are improving the life of a local veteran. Jocelyn Dorsey is one on one with the Iraq War hero leading the charge. Dancing with the stars. I got it. You were one of my favorites. <laughs> Channel 2's People to People, community coverage you can count on. Hello everyone, I'm Linda Stouffer. Hello to you, I'm Fred Blankenship. From the airport all the way up to coming in more than two dozen spots in between, painted pianos are popping up in public spaces. It's Georgia's first front row seat to pianos for peace, a movement using music to find harmony. It's actually really uh, disheartening for a place like this, for Atlanta, to have a sort of uh, a history and the spirit that it does, to have thousands and thousands of people always interacting, bumping into each other literally, and never get to know one another, never get to enjoy one another. This is one of 29 pianos. Come, brother, come. Placed in public spaces around Atlanta. Play the piano? Play? No. Play with me, come on. It doesn't matter, just put your fingers. Waiting for anyone to play. I was amazed that the pianos are sitting out here, you know. A novice, Bert Dodson. Never in my life have I played a piano, oh, no. Yeah. Striking keys with pianist and composer Malik Jandali. It's the universal language of the human race. Jandali founded Pianos for Peace with a mission. We need to uh, unite during these challenging times in our symphony for peace. That's what we need. Today in this time, that's a hard thing to find. Uh, most people will see you and walk right past you, won't even speak. Just a few blocks away, a pair of strangers outside a coffee shop found harmony. She knocked him off the piano. Yeah, she did. She knocked me off the piano. And we've been friends ever since. Art is personal uh, expression, but it's also communal expression. Being able to express yourself through music is the greatest gift that you can give to yourself or to anyone. You hear fighting and shootings and things like that in some parts of the city. And imagine if the city streets are always playing this kind of, you know, playing music instead. It's a medicine. It's, it's, a, it's a therapy. Jandali's goal is to carry this chorus into new corners and spaces. It's fun to have colorful painted pianos in the streets, but it's more impactful to have these pianos in places where they need it the most, in Title I schools and uh, community centers. At the end of the two-week festival, that's just where they'll land. Honestly, I feel like everybody should have the opportunity to at least, you know, touch a piano or at least try to play it, you know? It's going to help a lot of people. I truly believe that music changes people and people change the world. Harmony. The 29 pianos will stay out until September 18th, and you can download the free Pianos for Peace app for locations and pop-up concert information. Channel 2's People to People. Community coverage you can count on.